Good morning, everybody. This is the day after the cruise meeting, but I figured I'd quickly do a quick recap for the folks who weren't able to join us and uh, hopefully uh, share with everybody what uh, everybody that was there learned last night. Uh, I'm a little hoarse this morning, uh, so it must have been a great party, but uh, thank you for everybody that showed up. Thank you for Dave and Barbara Quartz who hosted uh, the club, and uh, there were a little over 60 people, I think that uh, participated and uh, great turnout so without further ado the days are getting longer it's time to plan 2019 as the cruise committee we set out a goal to maximize club participation and how we're doing that is to create shorter sailing legs 14 days off which just of work was just too much for many people also 14 days roughing it was uh, too much for most Short and manageable sailing legs allows uh, all the boats to sort of travel together, get to the same place relatively close to each other, and um, obviously budget-friendly options, anchor, mooring versus paying three or four bucks a foot uh, is, is options we did consider. We looked at reasons why the club sails, and uh, we wanted to make sure we check all the boxes. People want to do it, uh, you know, to have fun. The social aspect, the experiences, learn all about new locations, Certainly, there's the party on the other side, which is important to some, uh, you know, food, you know, affordable two-pound lo two lobsters, the sailing, the challenge. And uh, this year, we're also adding a purpose, a reason to sail. And we want this whole summer cruising experience to be tied together. And uh, that's what we are going to talk about next. So are you ready? Well, first, let me tell you this. Not many people have actually done what I'm setting out for this club to do. This is a pretty unique challenge this year. And uh, I can let you know that more people have actually climbed Mount Everest that is doing what we are planning to do. More people have actually been to space than what we are setting out to do. Think of the entire 2019 as cruising with a purpose, not just another summer cruise. So let's start with our playground, the Long Island Sound. And uh, I've hinted along the way that we are going to go west and that we're going to go east. So uh, those are uh, our cruises for the year. We are going to see the Statue of Liberty. And the furthest east we're going to go is uh, uh, Watch Hill. So let's start with this. Long Island Sound on a typical day. A limited wind, uh, but a beautiful view. And uh, this view is often obstructed by... Uh, this so we move from point a to point b we cruise from point a to point b and we stare at a line on the chart plotter and when we arrive on the other side you probably have seen the view that's behind this picture as much as you've seen actually this picture to make sure that you're on track now this is very different than it was in the past before gps folks were scanning the horizon constantly in the Long Island Sound. They were looking for buoys, they were looking for landmarks, they are looking for lighthouses because that's how you navigated, that's how you got to where we needed to get. So uh, looking at lighthouses, what you will find is that those are really obsolete in many cases because everybody's using GPS. Uh, nobody's really looking for those landmarks anymore. Forget about at night, but just in the day as well. A lot of them have been um, uh, you know, decommissioned by the government and by the, uh, by the states. And uh, it's up to local uh, societies like we have with the Huntington Lighthouse Preservation Society that's maintaining these lighthouses. But in many cases, these lighthouses are falling in disrepair because it takes a lot of money to maintain them. And uh, many lighthouses uh, have actually been uh, uh, destroyed, no longer exists. Look at the lighthouse, uh, North Brother Island, uh, the original uh, lighthouse, Huntington Lloyd Harbor Lighthouse, the ruins eventually just crumbled to nothing. So the lighthouse is becoming uh, extinct, really. So the challenge this year to the club is to find all of the lighthouses in the Long Island Sound. And a lot of them are beautiful. Um, there's some structures in there as well. So in these on these cruises, I uh, thought about a loop to the left, a loop to the right, and I'm challenging everybody to do the loop. The 2019 MCYC Long Island Sound Lighthouse Loop. And uh, in that loop, you will see 49 lighthouses, Statue of Liberty, 
the Colgate clock, the stacks uh, in Northport and Port Jeff, and the original Lloyd Harbor uh, lighthouse ruins. There are points values associated with each one of these lighthouses and structures, and depending if you view this from land or by car, which you can visit many of these by car, and there's no requirement for you to visit them by, uh, by boat, but there's more points if it's by boat, and the further the way they are from Oyster Bay and Huntington, the more points there are as well, so it would challenge us to get out there a little bit. So participate in Spot the Lighthouse competition, really a treasure hunt if you want, and um, there will be a trophy at the change of watch for vessel for the vessel with the most points. On the cruises that we're planning this year, the cruise to Liberty Landing, the cruise, the summer cruise, which goes as far east as Watch Hill, uh, Port Jeff cruise, the Sogata cruise, uh, over to Oyster Bay, and uh, then any other individual cruises to uh, Indian Harbor, uh, Stamford, or Norwalk, uh, we would uh, be able to see all of the lighthouses that are in the Long Island Sound. This is a list of all of the cruises we will be participating in this year. Uh, these dates are available on the website as well. You can certainly pause the video and uh, note those dates down. So, our theme for the Sogata cruise this year was announced by Dan Martin, and uh, it'll be Woodstock. So, get your tie-dyes out, and uh, we're going to have a great 60s-style party. So, uh, looking forward to that. Our Liberty Landing cruise this year, as you might have seen with emails shared by Dave Quartz, uh, coincides uh, with the Sail GP. Uh, these are um, uh, cat f uh, foiled catamarans that sail upwards of 40 uh, miles an hour, and the races are going to be in the Hudson. They're going to be stationed out of Liberty Landing, uh, and we'll be able to see those boats docked, and we will be able to uh, see them race uh, as well. So uh, an amazing uh, opportunity for us to see uh, this sort of at the edge of technology uh, boats uh, uh, race. Um, and uh, there are six international teams participating. Looking really forward to this. If you have not signed up for your uh, for the cruise to Liberty Landing, absolutely do so now. Do that on their website, not through DOCWA. The cancellation policy just seems to be a bit more uh, lenient if you do it through um, through the uh, the website for uh, Liberty Landing Marina directly. And um, certainly uh, sign up quickly because spots are uh, at a premium right now. And I think 20 or so boats already have signed up from Masthead Cove. Uh, we do get 10% discount for having more than 10 boats, so whatever pricing you see there, uh, you can take 10% off that. We'll be staying over for two nights, uh, the 21st and the 22nd. That allows us to see the actual races on the Friday afternoon and the Saturday afternoon, so a great opportunity. So let's look at the summer cruise. I already mentioned that we're going out as far uh, east as uh, Watch Hill, uh, so how do we get there? Uh, certainly from Oyster Bay Huntington going to Mulford is a short leg from there to Westbrook is about an equidistance distance leg uh, You can catch up if you leave later by going you know on an evening Let's say the Friday evening the 12th to Port Jeff and then catching up the Saturday a little bit of a longer leg uh, Catching up with us all at Westbrook from there uh, going uh, to the Mystic River uh, I myself are planning to stay at Mystic Seaport, but uh, there are many other marinas out there as well, and certainly we'll have separate meetings to discuss who's going where, and um, you know probably have a uh, an event there for the club or at the next stop, which is uh, Stonington. And from Stonington, uh, it's going to be just a short five mile hop over through uh, the channel uh, to go see the lighthouse at Watch Hill, and from there uh, we are going to. Uh, go to the pond in Montauk. You can stay either at one of the marinas there, but it is pricey. Uh, the poor man's option, which I'm taking, is anchoring in the pond. There's uh, water taxis available, so you can anchor. And I think a club event that allows land-based cruisers to join us at uh, Gosman's would be appropriate. Obviously, many lighthouses between the two, uh, the North Fork and the South Fork. So, uh, you know, getting over to shelter and, you know, check those lighthouses off our list is important. And then coming back from there uh, would either be a one-shot deal for those who want to do the long leg. Or alternatively, uh, you can certainly stop over at Mattituck, uh, Clinton, Branford, or Port Jeff uh, on your way home. So, those are the summer cruise options. 
For those of you who are accustomed to the uh, subway style maps that I did last year, you had a sort of uh, a version of that, and uh, um, hopefully uh, um, that makes all sense. Uh, the numbers on the arrows indicates the distance between the ports. Certainly we want to make the cruise uh, memorable this year, so uh, we are introducing Burgies, a deck of playing cards. Remember the 49 plus 5 structures, that's 54, so 52 cards and two jokers makes uh, a deck of 54 playing cards and a little bit more about that in a second and then also uh, a t-shirt uh, obviously if you cruise uh, in july uh, as has become uh, tradition now uh, you may uh, get a bob records designed ankle bracelet uh, best pictures and experiences are posted on the mcyc website and social media uh, and obviously uh, many opportunities to win the bend anchor uh, this is the bogey that was designed and uh, I shared uh, uh, a sample of this with a club last night. This uh, will come at a cost of about $10. Uh, in fact, it won't be more than 10 so $10 is uh, what this will go for. Uh, you can order this online on the website. I will share that with you in a little bit. Uh, the playing cards. So the back of the playing card says Massive Cove Yacht Club. It's got our Burgi and it says 2019 Lighthouse Loop on it. The front will be pictures from club members so if you pass a lighthouse or a structure you take a picture the best picture will be judged by myself and the cruise committee and the person with the best picture gets recognition of that picture on the face of a card so if there's a deck of cards and you took a picture of the statue of liberty it will say your name uh, at the bottom so you get recognition in that uh, deck of cards and uh, these playing cards will be produced at the end of the year and available at the change of watch uh, in December. So uh, we've got the whole year to fill up, uh, uh, you know, the deck of cards and uh, keep that sort of as a keepsake uh, at the end. Uh, the cards will probably go, depending on the volume, between $10 and $15 uh, a deck. Uh, the t-shirts are uh, probably going to be $20 a t-shirt uh, and um, uh, that sort of uh, gives you... Uh, an idea. The t-shirt has the similar design as the Burgi on the front and on the back it is sort of a word cloud of all of the lighthouse names that we will be visiting and you can see it's the Statue of Liberty, uh, you know, Dumont Dock Point and you know Home Base Huntington you'll see Watchill and a couple other names you'll make out on this t-shirt. Uh, we did have samples of this last night. Um, this is the color, uh, it's teal uh, that we will wear. I think it'll be good for the entire club to be, uh, you know, have a group picture with with this at some point. So, uh, like I said, t-shirts about $20. Uh, again, online ordering available. We'll uh, we'll do that uh, in, uh, in a little bit. So, I did create a website. The website uh, allows uh, folks to go to one place to get all information about cruises. You can sign up for cruises. You will uh, understand what the dates are, what ports everybody's visiting, etc. Uh, you can see who else is cruising with you. Uh, I sort of went through the website last night, but I'll share the link in an email separately, and you can certainly go through and explore the uh, the, the website by yourself. It's a place to keep score of which light, as you have seen, etc. So this is what the cruising website looks like. Um, if you do click on the 2019 cruise option, you'll see a list of all the cruises. If you pick a specific cruise option like Liberty Landing, you'll get some information about Liberty Landing. And at the bottom of every section, there will be a sign-up section. You put your email address, your vessel name, and the choices that's available to you. You select from there. That pretty much is it. So my challenge to you is to do the loop. And uh, thank you for, uh, uh, for your time last night. And... Uh, uh, for the kind words afterwards. I'm looking forward to the season and I'll see you in the water.